Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. We are talking about series 2 where we are learning about triangles. This is webisode number 21. Friends, today we are going to focus on solving questions related to areas of similar triangles. So let's get started. Now friends, in the last webisode, for the first time we looked at one special theorem regarding the areas of similar triangles. So the theorem went like this. So the theorem about areas, it was something like this. The ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of ratios of their corresponding sides. That means, friend, what we have is if we are given triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR, if this is what is given to us, then what we can write about their areas is that the ratio of areas, the ratio of area, so area ABC divided by area PQR, that is the ratio of the areas of similar triangle is equal to square, is equal to square of the ratios of corresponding sides. So, because these two triangles are similar, AB by PQ is equal to AC by PR is equal to BC by QR because these two triangles are similar. But the ratio of areas is equal to BC by QR whole square is equal to AB by PQ whole square is equal to AC by PR whole square. So, this is a theorem that we had seen at great length in the last video. I am going to provide a link below here as well for your quick reference. Let us take a look at some questions that may use this theorem. So our first question is, if the areas of two similar triangles are equal, so we have, it is given that areas of two similar triangles, if they are equal, prove that the triangles are congruent. So how do we go about proving this? So first friends, let's draw two triangles. We have drawn triangle ABC and PQR. And these two triangles are similar and what is given is their areas are equal. So we just now we learned that this theorem, we know that in similar triangles, the ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the square of ratios of corresponding sides. It is given that ABC is similar to PQR. So we can write, so we can actually write area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ whole square equal to AC by PR whole square equals to BC by QR whole square. But it is given that these two triangles have same area. That is area of ABC is equal to area of PQR. That means each of these ratios is equal to 1. So each of these ratios is equal to 1 because area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to 1. Right? So what we have here if you look at AB by PQ whole square is equal to 1, from here we get AB equals PQ. So we get AB equals PQ. If AC by PR whole square equals 1, from here we get AC equals PR. Similarly, we will have A, we will have BC equal to QR. So friends, if you look at these two triangles now, AB is equal to PQ, AC is equal to PR and BC is equal to QR. So we say these two triangles are congruent as per SSS, side, side, side congruent rule. So friends, so we have proved that two triangles are indeed congruent. Let's take a look at our second question. Second question states, PQR, PQ and R are respectively midpoints of sides AB, BC, CA of a triangle ABC. Find the ratio of areas of triangle PQR and ABC. So here friends, we don't have the diagram given to us. So let's draw it ourselves. So we have drawn a simple triangle ABC and we have found out the midpoints P, Q, R respectively. That is P is the midpoint of AB, Q is midpoint of BC 
and R is midpoint of AC. Right? If you look at this big triangle ABC, we have AP equal to PB and AR equal to RC. So we can say AB by PB is equal to AR by RC because both ratios are equal to 1. Right? So if that is the case, then it means PR is parallel to BC. Why? Because basic proportionality theorem. In a triangle ABC, if PR is such a line that divides AB and AC in same ratio, then the line PR is parallel to the third side BC. Right? So similarly, friends, we can say that QR is parallel to AB. Why? Again, if you look at the triangle this way, CAB, CR by AR is equal to CQ by BQ. That means this line QR is parallel to AB. Right? So now friends, if you look at, if you look at this quadrilateral PRQB, what we have is we have both pairs of opposite sides parallel. That means this is a parallelogram. That means we have PRBQ is a parallelogram. Now, in a parallelogram, we know opposite angles are equal. That means this angle must be equal to this angle. Right? Also, this side, this side must be same as this side. Now, let's clean this up a little bit. Right? So, what we have done is we have found out this angle is equal to this angle and this side is equal to this side. Also, this side is equal to this side because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and parallel. Now, similarly friends, if you look at the quadrilateral PRCQ, PR is parallel to this and CR is parallel to PQ. So, quadrilateral PRCQ is also a parallelogram. And so, this angle will be equal to this angle. Right? Now, friends, so similarly, we can also prove that ARQP is also a parallelogram, but I think we would most likely not need this. So let's, let's keep going. Now, if you look at the small triangle, friends, PQR and ABC. If you look at the small triangle PQR and big triangle ABC, you will notice that angle B is equal to angle R, angle P is equal to angle C, right? So we can say that these two triangles are actually similar, the small triangle and the big triangle, because angle B is equal to angle R and angle C is equal to angle P. By AA, we don't even need the third one. By AA similarity criteria or similarity rule, we can say that these two triangles are actually similar, right? we actually do not even need this third point. So we actually did not really, we didn't use this one. We don't need to have this. So the small triangle and the big triangle are actually similar triangles. So then friends, what we can say is that we know that area of the similar triangle PQ are divided by area of similar triangle ABC can be expressed as PR by BC y p r by b c because so we know that this angle was equal to this angle right these angles were equal similarly this angle was equal to this angle so the only angle left is this angle must be equal to this angle right so if you look at let's just do it this way area of triangle p q r divided by 
area of triangle ABC, this is the ratio that we need to actually find out. This is our original question, right? This is the question. Find the ratio of areas of triangle PQR and ABC. So PQR, area of triangle PQR divided by ABC is equal to square of corresponding sides. So we are trying to find out what are the corresponding sides. So in the small triangle, angle R is equal to angle B of big triangle. So which side is opposite of angle R? PQ. So let's write PQ here. PQ. In this case, I have actually written PR opposite to Q is PR and opposite to A is BC. So that's okay. So here we are taking angle B and angle R. So opposite to angle R is PQ and opposite to B is AC. Let's write AC. Now AC, let's write it here. AC is equal to AR plus RC. Now because R is a midpoint, I can write AC as twice AR or I can write this as twice RC. The length AC I can write this as 2 times AR or 2 times RC. Now RC, remember friends, P, P, R, C, Q is a parallelogram which we have proved. So this length is actually equal to this length, right? So 2RC is nothing but 2RC is same as 2PQ, 2PQ. So now if you come back here, and here our numerator is PQ, but instead of AC, if you put 2PQ here, 2PQ, then what you get, whole square, you will get PQ, PQ will cancel out. It will be 1 by 2 whole square, which will be basically equal to 1 by 4. So this ratio, area of small triangle divided by area of big triangle is equal to 1 by 4. Friends, let's take a look at one last question before we wrap up this particular webisode. So here what we have is, we have a triangle ABC and BPQ such that there are two equilateral triangles. There are two equilateral triangles such that P is the midpoint of BC. So let's draw the triangles because the triangles are not given. So I have drawn an equilateral triangle ABC and again like I have said always, these questions are not construction questions. So you are not really drawing with your protractor and your ruler. You are just roughly drawing the shapes if it is not given to us. So I have drawn a triangle ABC. It is given that ABC is the equilateral triangle. Also, it is given that P is a midpoint of BC. So on BC, I take a midpoint P. Now, in this case, I have drawn Q. So I have drawn a 60 on line BC at point P. I have drawn a 60 degree angle. That is this angle. I have drawn this as 60 degrees. And this will intersect AB. And this point, I'm calling it as Q. So BPQ, BPQ is a equilateral triangle because angle B is 60 degrees. This is 60. So this angle will automatically become 60 degrees. But instead of drawing the angle here, I could have actually also drawn it this way, right? So I absolutely could have done that way. So in that case, this angle will be 60 degrees and Q will be outside. It will not be inside the triangle ABC, but Q will be lying outside. So both scenarios we have to consider as we solve this question. So what do we have to solve here? The find the ratio of areas of triangle ABC, the big triangle, to the area of the small triangle BPQ. So friends, again, the way we are going to look at this is ABC, BPQ, both are equilateral triangle, which is given to us. So angle, all angles in ABC and BPQ, BPQ are 60 degrees, right? Therefore, 
ABC and BPQ will be basically similar triangles because all angles of the big triangle ABC and the small triangle BPQ and I think let us just see it will be a little easier to visually see it here it's exactly the same in this case as well so here this angle is 60 this angle is 60 this angle is 60 similarly here this angle is 60 this angle is 60 this angle is 60 because ABC is an equilateral triangle and B QP is also an equilateral triangle. So because all angles are 60, we can say that these two triangles are similar. Same, this triangle and the big triangle are similar triangles. Now, in similar triangles, we know that the ratio of areas is square of ratio of corresponding sides. Right? So, what we have here is area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle BPQ is BC by BP because it's an equilateral triangle it's a special case all the sides are the same that is this side is equal to this side is equal to this side similarly in the small triangle it's equilateral triangle this side is equal to this side is equal to this side so we have big triangle so BC by BP whole square right and why did I pick BC and BP because P is a midpoint I want to express the ratio instead of writing the ratio in terms of BQ and AC actually I could have done that as well so essentially here I have taken BC by BP right and it is given to us that BC is nothing but two times BP right so BP and BP will cancel out so I have 2 times 2 2 square is 4 so the ratio of area of big triangle to the area of small triangle is 4 so friends this wraps up the problems questions on the areas of similar triangles in the next episode we are going to take a look at some right angle triangle related theorems.